Senator Paul. Dr. Fauci, in a recent British study, David Wiley and others found that no symptomatic reinfections from COVID-19 after following 2,800 patients for several months. In fact, there have been no reports of significant numbers of reinfections after acquiring COVID-19 naturally. Shane Crawdy, a vir virologist at La Jolla Institute for Immunology, concludes from his experiments that the amount of immune memory gained from natural infection would likely prevent the vast majority of people from getting hospitalized disease, severe disease for many years. In this study, which was published in Science, Dr. Crody showed that antibody levels stayed relatively constant with only modest declines over six to eight months. Dr. Crotty reported that notably memory B cells specific for the spike protein or RBD were detected in almost all COVID-19 cases with no apparent half-life at five to eight months after infection. In other words, Dr. Crotty found significant evidence of long-term immunity after COVID infection. Furthermore, Dr. Crotty noted B cell memory to some other infections has been observed for as long as 60 plus years after smallpox vaccination or even 90 years after a natural infection with influenza. That was a woman who got the Spanish flu, still showed immunity 90 years later. So rather than being pessimistic towards people gaining immunity after they've had COVID or had a vaccine, studies argue for significant optimism. In fact, there have been no scientific studies arguing or proving that infection with COVID does not create immunity. There have been no studies showing significant numbers of reinfections. Of the 30 million Americans who have had COVID, only a handful of reinfections have been discovered. In fact, the New York Times reported last fall, more than 38 million people at the time worldwide had been infected with the coronavirus. And as of that date, fewer than five of these cases had been confirmed by scientists to be reinfections. Scientists interviewed for the article concluded, in most cases, a second bout with the virus produce mild or symptoms or none at all. Given that no scientific studies have shown significant numbers of reinfections of patients previously infected or previously vaccinated, what specific studies do you cite to argue that the public should be wearing masks well into 2022? I'm not sure I understand the connection of what you're saying about masks and reinfection. We're talking about people who have never been infected before. You're and telling everybody to wear a mask, whether they've had an infection or a vaccine. What I'm saying is they have immunity and everybody agrees they have immunity. What studies do you have that people that have had the vaccine yeah. or have had the infection are spreading the infection? If we're not spreading the infection, isn't it just theater? No, you it's have not the vaccine and you're wearing two masks. Isn't that theater? No, that's not. Here we go again with the theater. Let, let, let's get down to the facts. OK, the studies that you quote from Crotty and Sete look at in vitro examination of memory immunity, which in their paper, they specifically say this does not necessarily pertain to the actual protection. It's in vitro. And what study For, can you point to that shows significant let, reinfection? There are no studies that show just significant let, let, me, let me finish the response to your question, if you please. The other thing is that when you talk about reinfection and you don't keep in the concept of variance, that's an entirely different ball game. That's a good reason for a mask. In the South African study conducted by J&J, &J, they found that people who were infected with wild type and were exposed to the variant in South Africa, the 351, it was as if they had never been infected before. They had no protection. So when you talk about reinfection, you've got to make sure you're talking about wild type. I agree with you that you very likely would have protection from wild type for at least six months if point you're infected. This, but we in study, our country though, now have variants that, that are circulating. Significant reinfection. What study shows significant reinfection, hospitalization, and death after either natural infection or the vaccine? It doesn't exist. There is no evidence that there are significant reinfections after vaccine. In fact, I don't think we have a hospitalization in the United States after the two-week period after the second vaccination. We yeah, don't you have a death in the United States. You you're not hearing what I'm saying about variants. We're talking about wild-type 
versus variants. And what, now, proof is there, what proof is there that there are significant reinfections with hospitalizations and death from the variants? None in our country, zero. Well, because we don't have a prevalent of a variant yet. We're having one, can I finish? We're well, having one one seven that's becoming more dominant. A policy based on conjecture. No, you it, have the conjecture it isn't based on conjecture. Variants, so you, some, you want people to wear a mask for another couple of years. No. You've been vaccinated and you parade around in two masks for show. No. You can't get it again. There's almost, there's virtually 0% chance you're going to get it. And yet you're telling people with them that have had the vaccine who have immunity. You're defying everything we know about immunity by telling people to wear a mask who've been vaccinated. No. Instead, you should be saying there is no science right. to say we're going to have a problem from the large number of people who've been vaccinated. You want to get rid of vaccine hesitancy? Tell them they can quit wearing their mask after they get the vaccine. Okay. You want people to get the vaccine? <clears throat> Give them a reward instead of telling them that the nanny state's going to be there for three more years and you got to wear a mask forever. People don't want to hear it. There's no science behind it. Well, let me just state for the record that masks are not theater. Masks are protective. And we have immunity there, theater. If you already have immunity, you're wearing a mask to give comfort to others. You're not wearing a mask because of any sign. I, I totally disagree with you.